Hi! In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create a nice wooden panel material in minutes. Let's build this wood panel material together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. We're using a Starter Assets Material Preset as base. They are located in the Asset Panel. Let's choose the pine wood material and drag and drop it into the layer stack for a basic pine wood. As preset we take Satin Varnish, tweak the random seed for randomness and change the cut to crown. To get the more accurate color we tweak the fibers and veins color and rotate it 90 degrees for a vertical flow. Then we decrease the vein thickness for thinner veins and make it rougher. Finally we adjust the height range for a less intense height. Now we use a transform filter. Let's add it by clicking on the add a layer button, typing in transform and choosing it. We tile it by setting X and Y scale to 2 for a more accurate scale. This results in a slightly more natural look. Let's rename the material and save the project frequently. To get the panel look we use the panel filter. For the smaller panel size we change the X and Y amount. Because we don't want fasteners we get rid of them. Further we adjust the offset amount and switch to vertical offset. To get rid of the bulging and wrinkles we reduce them to zero. Then we increase the bevel slightly and tweak the bevel profile. For a second slightly different iteration we right click on the material, duplicate and rename it. Now we tweak the Y amount of the panel filter. To blend both materials together we have to make another third new material and rename it. Then we drag and drop in first the panel small material and as second one our panel big material. Adding two materials on top of each other blends them. This way you can combine multiple materials. To tweak the blending settings we switch to custom mask blend and click on the button behind the material preview. By clicking on the brush button we can draw the mask in the 2D view. With control and mouse wheel we adjust the size to match the panel road. Then we can click once on the top border of the second row, hold shift and draw a straight line by pressing once on the bottom end. Now we repeat this step alternately for the other rows. To check the result in different lighting conditions we can choose between several different environment lights till we find one that looks great. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use Send2 to send it directly to another Substance app. Export it as SBS AR for other 3D apps and engines. Or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more, you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.